Have you ever been in the position where you've been running Windows and one of your forms, one of your windows, moves off screen, you can't easily move it back on again. That can happen, for example, if you've changed the resolution of a monitor or maybe you've been using a remote desktop or virtual desktop application or for some reasons, you know, it's just gone off where you can't find it again or it's stacked behind several windows. Well, I'm going to show you how you can write a simple application in C Sharp uh, using Visual Studio and .NET to find the windows and bring them back on one or more monitors. Let's have a look how to do it. Let me quickly show you what my little window management tool does. So here it is. You can see it lists the running applications in the left-hand window. And I've got two monitors on this system, so it lists those on this uh, right-hand pane. Let me select the calculator, which is one of the applications running and this monitor. Now the calculator somewhere could be on or off screen. I've lost track of where it is. I want to bring it on my monitor. Click show window and there it pops up in the top left hand corner of my screen and I could do that with any other running applications and if I wanted to pop it up in my second monitor well I would click that button there, bring it back here and so on. Okay, so that's what this does. Let's see how it does it. This is my code. Pretty simple, but the core things that I need to do, first of all, is I need these two uh, system functions. These functions are provided at a system level in user32.dll, and in order to get at them, I have to import those functions. I can do that with this attribute dll import, and then put the name of the dll as I've done here. Um, this is the declaration. You can see the declaration. I won't go into it in great detail. Uh, there's another way of importing from DLLs, and in fact, Microsoft seems to prefer this alternative way these days, and that is using library import. It's got some benefits. It's got some performance benefits and debugging. If you want to convert DLL import to library import, well, the, the uh, functions will be listed with these three dots and you can just select this drop down list and same down here convert now if you decide to use library import and you compile it and you get a build error well there is it says the unsafe code may only appear if compiling with slash unsafe etc uh, if you get that error then go into select the project here and go into the project properties and you will need to set under the build uh, section down here you need to set allow code that uses the unsafe keyword save that and that should i hope run okay it doesn't really matter whether you use library import or dll import uh, as long as you set that unsafe option if required uh, so you can see the syntax for the import statements there if you need if you're unfamiliar with how to do that i've set these values here i'll explain those presently but i'll go through this uh, step by step first so when the form loads i call init up init up just calls these two functions I've written get windows titles and get screens they populate the let me remind you these two windows so here are the on here that's the uh, application names and here that's the screen names and their uh, sizes so first of all let's have a look at these get screens so I want to list the screens if you've got more than one monitor you want the two or three or whatever number of screens listed on that right hand window so i use the dotnet screen class and that provides me with all i need so i get all screens which is an array of the screens and i just uh, go through them finding the device name and in this case i also put the width and height you don't have to do that but i thought it would help identify which screen is which and in the left hand window i put the window titles i use the process class for that I find all the processes in process collection using get processes. Not all processes will have a title, but the windows do have titles. And so I get the main windows titles that shows calculator or whatever else I've got displayed in the left hand window. And I just add it to that list uh, in, in the window. 
And now the real work is done down here. That's when the button is clicked and I bring the selected uh, application window onto the selected screen at that point. So I just get the selected item from the uh, list of Windows titles. And if not, I show an error message. Now there's a squiggly green line down here. It's not terribly important, but that's because if you look at the message here, it says that the uh, converting a null literal or possible null value to a non-nullable type could be an error. I've actually checked to make sure that the item is not null, but still it's shown the green squiggly. I can make that go away just by putting this uh, question mark after the string. And that's just the, the syntactical way of telling uh, Visual Studio, telling .NET, I know what I'm doing, it doesn't matter. Uh, now I get the handle to the, it's, which is an int pointer, I get the handle of a window, check it's not zero, and for each of those windows in the process list, I get the main window title, and then finally I call this function to move it to the top left of the selected screen. So I'll go to the definition, and all this does is it sets the window's position using the imported function. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Oh, these finally, I should say, these uh, uh, these are documented. If you search for set window pause online, these flags here are documented. There are a number that you can uh, combine using this upright bar, this oaring uh, operator. And this one, in, in this case, it just says don't resize the window and show it, you know, bring it to the front so I can see it. And the values I've just inserted up here by looking them up online. And that's pretty much all there is to this simple Windows Manager application. Now, my little Windows Manager that I've shown here is just one of a number of different useful utilities that I've shown how to program. If you follow my channel, Code With You, go to the playlists and you can find various projects, a file manager, for example, and a, a drag and drop program manager lets you drag and drop files or applications onto a little launch pad and click a button to, to launch them. I'll be coming back to extend this Windows Manager with more functions in future. So be sure not to miss any of my new lessons. Subscribe to my channel, click that button, and I'll see you with more soon.